Now the latest on the fallout from last January's crisis at the Capitol. Former Proud Boy leader from Miami, Enrique Tarrio, will remain behind bars as he faces charges in connection to the insurrection. CBS 4's Ted Scouten spoke to Tarrio's attorney and joins us with that reaction as well as what the prosecutor has to say. Ted? Yeah, Elliot, more than a dozen family and friends were in court, two of them even offering to put their homes up for collateral, trying to bond him out. The judge said no, he's going to stay locked up. Is there anyone who'd like to comment, say anything no, on his behalf? No, no, no comment. Family and friends leaving court disappointed that former Proud Boys leader Enrique Tarrio will remain in federal detention as his case makes its way through the legal system. Just like anybody else, you'd be disappointed regarding the court's ruling that you're going to be held during the period of his case. In court, Tarrio's attorney tried to convince the judge that he should be released on bond because he's not a threat to the community, not a flight risk, and wasn't even at the Capitol during the siege on January 6th. He was not present, and the other individual were there and there's no showing in essence that Mr. Tario in essence orchestrated or did anything within the uh, within Washington DC and the Capitol. Those prosecuting Tario have a much different take. In arguments to the court, they said he spearheaded the conspiracy and even formed a new chapter of the Proud Boys called the Ministry of Self-Defense. They argued that even though he was not in Washington DC during the attack, he continued to exercise command and control. Prosecutors argued Tario claimed credit for scenes unfolding in and around the Capitol, posting a social media message during the attack not to leave the Capitol, and in an encrypted chat of Proud Boy leadership posted, make no mistake, we did this. In an effort to keep him locked up until trial, prosecutors said it's difficult to imagine conduct that poses a graver risk to our society. Now, the judge ordered that Tario be moved to Washington, D.C. That's where this case is going to be heard. Meanwhile, the next hearing is set for a week from today. Live in downtown Miami, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.